everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do for you a bag review. Um, this was actually my very first video request, so thank you very much, star763. Um, somebody that's also follows me on Instagram and watches my YouTube channel, so that's great. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do it. It's actually... The crest was for a review of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size. I mentioned it on a previous video. And I'm actually really pleased I got the request because it is a bag that I really love and that I have promoted to, you know, friends and family because of how great a bag, in my opinion, that this is. So, here it is. Um, I'll show you how I store it and I'll talk about, I'll, I actually am prepared with the tape measure, I'll show you the measurements and I will show you any wear and tear and I'll also show you, I've just got a few typical things that I would put inside so you can see and then I'll do some odd shots as well so you can see what it looks like. So if you are thinking of getting an Everfull and you're not sure whether you want the PM, MM or GM size, um, I've got my own opinion on that as well. Um, I will show you so at least you can see what the middle size the MM looks like on. So, here she is in her dust bag. And I always, I always store my bags in their dust bags. I mean, I love those shelving units that people have with their bags out, but for me, I think they just get too dusty and I, just, and I don't want any light damage, so I always store my bags in their dust bags. Um, anyway, so here she is. So I have the monogram version so it's the monogram canvas with the fichetta leather trims I also have my bag as you can see stuffed with air paper I'll take that out so you can see the bag properly excuse the noise sorry a whole load of air paper there just to try and keep my bag as nice as possible and then inside I actually got mine with the not sure how you pronounce it, the Piv1 lining, so basically the bright pink lining. It's, um, if looking at, and again I'll come to a second, any of the um, matching items that have got some leather trim, I'd, I'd suggest fuchsia to go with this. Anyway, so, here she is, and like I say, I went for the monogram, and I'll do the measurements, let's do the measurements first, let's, go. let's get that over and done with, right, dust bag. Trusty tape measure. So I'm sat on the floor, but I just thought it was the easiest way of doing this. So let's start with the longest measurement. So this is, and obviously the Louis Vuitton website has all the proper official measurements on site, but let's show you. So the MM, when I pinch it shut, going from one side to the other, is 48 centimeters in width. So that's its widest point, like I said, I've got that pinch shut. If I then look at the bottom length, I'm going to measure from here to here. I've got to go well on camera. So from there to there, that is about 33. I'll do it this way. Turn it upside down and just do it to make sure to give you the proper measurement. Let's do this properly if we're going to do it. Yep, 32 and a tiny bit. And then I'll tell you the, the width as well. So the, the widest point at the bottom, which is 16 centimetres. And then the height is... Show you this way. Oh, gift of knee. Right. Is that going to help? So that is 29 centimetres. Like I say, the official measurements might be slightly different, but you're going to get the gist from that. So that's it at its absolute biggest. And like I say, this is the MM size. Now I looked into obviously getting which design I wanted. I looked at monogram. The Demio Ben, and I love the red interior of the Demio Ben, and also I love the rose ballerine interior of the Demio Azure. But I went for the classic monogram, and I went for the pink 
inside so I'm very happy with that. I also looked to get into beige interior but decided that it was a little plain and also I thought it might show any marks a little bit more being a light colour and I just thought the pink was different. So yeah, so I got that. Wear and tear, so this won't take long. Um, firstly I'll tell you that the Fichetta leather is starting to patina very nicely. I'm thinking mine's quite even overall, so I'm quite liking how that is aging. The other thing that I've done, I've noticed with this bag is that here, I don't know if it's just how I use it when I put stuff in, but I think a lot of them get this. I've got a little bit of sag here, hence me trying to fill it up with air paper when I store it. Um, honestly, does this bother me that much? No. This is a bag, I bought this in, I think it was December 2016. Um, got it in Bond Street with my friend Lou uh, the flagship store there and yeah, had a great day, didn't plan it well, we planned going but I was like I'll see if they've got the bag, if they have or they haven't I already knew exactly what I wanted um, and they had it, which was great so yeah um, that was when I got it and I've used it a lot one of the advantages I think of the Neverfull is, with many advantages and I'll go through those, is but how you can dress it up or dress it down and I think it's an amazing day bag because you really can put so much in there. Um, I wouldn't say it's never been full because I have absolutely managed to fill this, believe it or not. Um, Ikea trip, went for something small, so just took this. Ended up buying a whole heap of hangers and was too tight to pay the... 75p or whatever it was for one of their blue carrier bags so I didn't and just shoved it all in here. I'll um I'll insert a picture um of all the hangers so you can see what I actually did fit in. So I'll insert a picture now. Right, so that's what can fit in. So I'll show you the features of the bag as well. So I'm sure you're all familiar with this and there's probably much better videos than this, than this on the bag, but anyway. Got these little bits on the side and these allow you to basically cinch the bag in to give it a completely different look. So you can do that like so. And you can see that makes it look a lot smaller. So if you were using it and say you're going out for the day and you're going to start the day with not much in it and then you know add more or the other way around. If you're going somewhere and you had like a couple of gifts or something that you then were going to be giving to someone and you wanted the bag to change for that day, then you've got that flexibility. You can see there it looks a lot smaller and tidier. I will insert some mod shots and I'll do this again so you can see what it looks like on. This also makes it more secure because as I'm sure most of you know it is an open tote and that has advantages and disadvantages um, but it does make it, if you cinch it in, you can see that much less easy to open. So again, best from a security perspective if you wanted to. Have I ever worn it cinched in? No. Have I ever seen anyone wear it cinched in once? Which I think was the other week, we were going to have London Bridge and it wasn't the monogram version. Anyway. So that's the outside, um, not much else to report on the outside really, it's like I say got the nice leather trim here and nice lot of stitching on the handle so I think that adds to how secure this bag is in terms of its strength, so you can see the stitching there. So inside, again this won't take long either, inside got pink there, we have a zip pocket here and on that we've got put it out like the colour of it best it's a stunning colour in person it really is um you can say there it says Louis Vuitton maybe you can't see but anyway what it says there is Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain and you've also got um yeah, some Louis Vuitton branding on the pocket. So that's the pocket and it, it flips, it does flip up there 
I'm um, not sure why, but it does. If you wanted to, I suppose, put anything behind it for either added security or so it didn't get scratched by any other items and you could just slip something behind or you just wanted to, you know, have something that was hold it. I don't know, say you're putting an iPad in and you wanted to try and keep it secure and not mixed up with everything else, you could do that. The other thing that this comes with is, and the, the earlier models, I don't know what year this switched over, um, the earlier models didn't have this, but this one does, um, is the little pouch, which I've got attached to the D-ring there. And that is completely removable. And again, I'll show you some mod shots. So that's it, really. That's the features of the bag. And then the rest of it is just a whole pouch. I'll show you. The rest of it is just a big cavernous pit that you can put God knows how much in, which I'll show you in a moment. So that's the features of the bag. The lining is like a really nice, strong, sort of tough canvas. Um, so yeah, that's the feature of the bag. The wear and tear, so I showed you the patina, I showed you the slight sagging. I did get one mark here on the inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, it is just below my finger there. So that was my fault. I think I sat on the train putting some mascara on, went to put the mascara in back in the pot to then put it in and somehow missed and just stabbed the bag with mascara god knows very annoyed myself tried to get it off unsuccessfully but that's the only mark inside and that was my own stupid fault the other thing on the leather is it has worn on the corners slightly on these bits uh, i don't know if you can see right so i'll try and show you there it has worn slightly and the same here, it has got a little bit of like almost slight colour transfer but it's very minor and it doesn't bother me because this is a casual style bag it really doesn't bother me and I have used this like I say for smart casual going to work but also completely casual with jeans I've stuffed it full of all manner of stuff and I'm one of these people that I'm actually very, I'm very careful with my all my belongings and my bags. But this is one of the least baby, probably the least baby bag that I own. I don't know why, it just, I think because it just feels so tough. So obviously I don't abuse it or anything. And I make sure I don't, you know, scrape it along the wall. But other than that, I will chuck it on the floor. It's, you know, it's zero feet, but I will place it on the floor, not chuck it, but I will place it on the floor. Um, and I will just use it really it's a great travel bag for using on planes it does fit under the seat in front of you if you are traveling on a plane just in case you don't want to know that um and again i think what's so great about this is you can not put too much in and then if you've got like an extra cardigan or something because you know what the aircon's like on those planes if you've got an extra cardigan that you want on but then you want it off again you can just chuck it in so advantages and why i love this bag so much one how much you can fit in without it looking too big on. I'm only five foot three and a bit. I'm a UK size six, we'll say. And I've not got a big frame. I'm quite small and petite. Yet it doesn't look too big on me, in my opinion. You may disagree um, when I show you. But, um, so I like that fact. The PM I thought was a little bit too small for what I wanted. The GM I thought was huge and would probably drown me and I just don't need anything that big. So. I like how much you can fit in. I like the fact that you don't have to fill it though. Sometimes I find with a big bag, if you don't put enough in it, it looks a bit silly. With this, I think you can not put too much in and it looks absolutely fine. So my pros are, it's very lightweight as well. My pros are how lightweight it is, how durable it is, and how strong it is with the handles in terms of how much you can fit in without it breaking. I find with a tote, um, I love how easy it is to just pop your, put your hand in and get things. I don't have a base shaper or a bag organiser for this. I know a lot of people do and are great fans of them. I just wanted the bag to be as the bag was. Um, I did think about it. But for me, having the zip pocket and the pouch is enough for organisation that I can get my stuff that I want easily. Um, I've said this before in other videos, I'm not a rummager. I can't bear those bags and I've actually sold bags because of it that you 
want to get something out and you can't because you don't know where it is and it's buried amongst other stuff, that's not me. So the fact that I can get on with this means hopefully a lot of other people that want to find stuff easily can do. I think it's because it has got some structure and the opening is so big. So that is a pro for me definitely. The colour and the whole look and aesthetics of this bag are also a pro. The um, choice that you've got and how versatile this is in terms of being able to cinch it in is a pro. Not that I have bothered, but I like the fact that I know that I can should I want to. And never say never. <laughs> never fall. Um, I may well do it one day. Um, just because I haven't so far doesn't mean that I won't and I've got nothing against wearing it that way at all. Um, yeah. That's it really for the pros, I suppose. Um, cons, I suppose, just from a security point of view, how open it is. So I suppose someone could come along and if you've got it on your arm, they could put their hand in and get something. Um, personally though, anything that I've got which is, um, you know, Pressure, like yeah, purse or phone or something or keys, you know, something that you definitely don't want taken, or you don't want anything taken. But worst case scenario, you've got the zip pocket, and you've also got the pouch with the with the D ring, so you can do that, and that gives you that extra security, and that way it is zipped in. Um, yeah, the other thing as well that I really love is the pouch itself, and I've actually before now taken the bag away on holiday and you know not want to take too much and then use just taking the pouch off use attached it so it's a little I'll show you. I have taken the pouch off the D-ring I just taking that off there and then clipped this onto here and yeah you've got yourself a little wrist slit um, which again I have worn that as uh, for an evening out. Obviously it doesn't fit a lot in but if you're just popping out for the evening, you're on holiday, going out for an evening meal, you know I can get my phone in there, a couple of bits of makeup, I mean what else do you need really? Um, so yeah, so and even like a little tiny flat travel hairbrush. So that's it for what I get in there. So I will show you how I pack this typically to give you an idea. So, first thing I'm going to pop in here, let's start big and go small. So, first thing I'm going to pop in here is a laptop. So, here we have this is my work laptop, which is a 13 inch laptop. So, let's pop that in there. Actually, hold on one second, I'm going to adjust the camera angle to try and make it a bit easier for you to see. Hold that thought. But right, hopefully, that will make it a bit easier. So, laptop is in there. Then I'm going to get my cosmetic pouch in the GM size and pop that in. So this is a great cosmetic pouch, holds a hell of a lot. Also I've used this just on holiday for like all my makeup for going away with. Not toiletries but just like all makeup for like a week. So pretty good, pop that in there, like a GM size. Let's see if you can see if that goes in like so. And then I might put in my key clay. Now I actually bought an extra chain so one thing I could do with this is with the extra chain um, have that inside because I've got I actually used my keys on this and I've got my keys on the chain that comes in. I actually got another chain that I managed to attach on the same bit inside as the main chain but then have it coming out of this bit so the zip just went up against it and then clipped that on the D-ring so my keys were easily accessible and also secure. So that's one thing, but actually before I put those in. So this is my Clements wallet. So it's a full size wallet, but it's not the big zippy. It's Clements wallet, it's not saying about the matching, that's with the fuchsia leather tab. So I normally put this in the zip pocket here. And that just goes in. I think the full size zippy wallet would be a bit big fit in there. So that goes in there. Then I normally get my key clay and pop that just on top like that and then zip it up. So I've got my keys and my purse zipped up all nice and secure. Then I might put in, sorry, excuse me. What are you doing boy? Cat. <laughs> Hello my love. 
No. He's not allowed out at the moment, he's had an operation. He's not happy about it, he's bored. Anyway, so then I will put in the main compartment as well. So it's hard because it's a bit floppy. Umbrella, because as you know, I always have to take that everywhere. And glasses. So you go in. And then in the little pouch, typically what I'd put in here would be work phone and there's got a little pouch inside the pouch there's a slip pocket inside the pouch work phone and then um, travel pass um, pen keys for my locker at work and these are just Beats Earpod headphones. So, as you can see, still got extra room. I might also put in, I haven't got it here, but my um, pass card to get in the building at work. So that's there and zipped up. Or sometimes I might actually just leave it unzipped so I can get stuff out easily, particularly my travel pass. So again, pop that back in there in front of the laptop. And then my phone, which is in the Louis Vuitton Fuchsia Colour Epi Leather case, that I'll probably just stick between the pouch and the cosmetic case. So we're filling up, we're getting a bit heavier now as well, but it doesn't feel that heavy on. And then trusty Tangled Teaser which also goes everywhere with me that it can. If I'm taking a small bag, then it can't. I have to use one of those flat ones. So I'll pop that at the bottom. Packet of tissues, because, well, you never know. And again, just pop that on the side where the umbrella is. And I also have my uh, Hermes agenda there. So that can go in. And then I have in here... I've just got for, just for the sake of using them, my Manolo Blahnik BB shoes in their little case. And they will go in probably just sort of on top-ish. Now there's still a bit of extra room. Um, I may also sometimes put in like a bit of lunch as well. I don't always have the laptop in this bag. Um, I said I don't baby it and it's quite strong, but sometimes I don't want to risk having it too heavy by having the laptop in because I think that is what adds a lot of weight so sometimes I have my laptop in my like Longchamp pliage shopper but just thought I'd show you what can go in so there it is as you can see it's it would do up it's the other sorry the other feature of the bag is in case you want to do up you've got a little clip here that just fastens there so that's what it looks like from here Unclip it. And then if I take the shoes out from the top, you can see just try and turn it this way. The laptop at the bottom might be able to see a bit better. Yeah, there we go. You can see the items in there. So yeah. I can see why people do have the bag organisers, but for me I don't need to because I remember exactly where I place things and do it the same way pretty much every time. I know. So that's it. Um, yeah, you can see it there. And you can see that it's not too much of a strain. The sagging that I showed you earlier, the items in, has gone somewhat. Right, so this is the Liverpool just on my shoulder. I've just emptied it out again. But here it is. Side. Front on. And then if I cinch it in, I'll show you what it looks like quickly. So there you can see it's made it a much smaller silhouette. And then the other thing, the final way that I wear it is 
that's the other thing that's so good is if you want to get something in and out, you can leave one shoulder on, just pull it down and just get the stuff really easily. It really is a very easy bag to use. Right, so anyway, unclip this. And then I will show you the wrist strap. So if I clip this onto here again, it up. you can see you've got a little really nice wrist slip there. And it's also got that really nice little pop of pink. And actually, goes with what I'm wearing, like not pre-planned, but it actually goes with what I'm wearing. So, yeah. So that's it, that's a review of my Nifl MM. Not quite as structured as I planned, but um, yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, my overall conclusion is that I cannot recommend this bag enough, particularly if you're new to Louis Vuitton and you wanna get your first bag, I think that if you're okay with it with an open tote and then absolutely get it I think it's strong it's lightweight and just incredibly versatile and just looks good with so many outfits so it's one of my favorite purchases it was my first ever Louis Vuitton bag I've got a few I haven't got many but I've got a few all very different and um, it's my most used out of all of them so I hope you found that useful. Any questions or anything at all, um, obviously I will do my best to answer. Just put them in the comment box below. So, uh, yeah, from us, it's goodbye. See you next time.